welcome back guys this is question 2.97 which we have discussed previously that referring to exercise 2.95 what is the probability that a person diagnosed as having cancer actually has the disease okay so what do we have to find out we have to find out the probability of the actual having a disease given that he is diagnosed positive okay so this is the query we have to address here okay so again uh, using the uh, base theorem we know that probability of a given b that is equal to the probability of b given a multiplying it with the probability of a and dividing it over the probability of b we have proved the same equation on our previous video so now applying it for the same problem which we have in question 2.97 we have to find out the probability of the actual disease or having the actual disease given that a person has been diagnosed as positive would be what that would be probability of the diagnosing positive given that a person has a disease multiplying it with the probability of the disease dividing it over the probability of the diagnosis okay so this is what this is the overall scenario we have okay so now looking back to the previous question do we have all this stuff okay so we can very clearly see that here we have probability of c that is 0 0.05 probability of d plus given that c is positive that is 0 0.78 and also we have found out here probability of d plus that is 0 0.096 okay so now let me put it here so z it would be what so probability of d plus given c plus how much is this let me see so this is 0 0.78 okay so that is 0 0.78 probability of c is 0 0.05 and dividing it to a probability of d plus what is this this is what we have found out and that is 0 0.096 okay let me use it here 0 0.096 okay so now let me calculate it okay how much is this this is 39 divided by 96 which ultimately gives me the answer that is 0 0.406 okay so this is what this is the answer of question 2.97 okay so i hope you have understood the essence of such type of questions that how to deploy them how to use the base theorem and what are the procedure behind it so if you have any question you can ask me in the comment box see you soon